Okay, I figured out something I can make a video on that won't offend people, I think. This is about the reality of long-term bugging out. Uh, I hear from various people in the survival community all the time that, like, basically, you shouldn't even worry about your ability to go, like, run off to the woods with a rifle and survive because it's not a long-term solution, you know? And the, they have a broken view of this, where in their view, if you go and do that in the zombie apocalypse, so is everybody else, and they're just gonna hunt out all the game on Earth. I, I hate to tell you this, but people are fucking weak. People are timid. People are afraid to pull fucking trigger. Okay, you you can't have this plan in like Texas. They're right in Texas. Okay, that's not the move though. Like you shouldn't be preparing to live in Texas. You should be preparing to live in some place where you could live off the land. Where's that? Sure, fuck ain't Texas no more. It's Alaska. That's that's basically it. And the cold and the snow and the hardship will chase off. Oh, sorry, will chase off anybody else from trying to do the same thing. This is why you know I'm a crazy fuck, and so are all the rest of the people that live in fucking Alaska. I don't mind cold or snow. And like I'm sure I'm not alone in that. Like various of us have. You know, either Native American or Scandinavian DNA that I deal with cold well. I have a mix of both. Like, that's kind of my plan. And I think, you know, if those people that say that, in their mind, when they think of running off to the hills to survive, they're going to go, you know, 50 miles into the backcountry wherever they are. And if you're doing that, that's not a good idea. Like, the idea here would have to be, I'm going to have to be a new hunter-gatherer. So, like, if you're going to do this in the lower 48, dude, you probably ought to have a bunker with about 30 years worth of food. You're going to have to wait for all this shit to calm down here. Like, maybe it won't take 30 years. But this is the other thing that I see as the hole in, like, their logic is, let's even say that, some people go hunting. I don't think it's ever going to be like the show Jericho, where, like, there's enough people that survive with rifles that are fully capable that, like, they go and hunt down all the fucking deer. Like, maybe. If the, if the situation is just right, maybe. Maybe. I doubt it even then. Deer are pretty crafty, and I, I think, honestly... If our civilization did end, the deer population would start booming like crazy because basically we're the only thing holding them back. Like, especially once all of our fields and shit are just left to go fucking wild. Like, I imagine that there will be some of the seed crop still remaining in those fields that, like, continues to grow and they will be grazing areas for all sorts of herds of shit it'll take a while to get there but they'll get there and this is where having the ability to run out in the woods with a bolt action rifle and a couple boxes of ammo and exist for a while like that's a handy thing to have and if you want to know what that looks like go look at Glenn Villeneuve on uh he did an episode of Joe Rogan. I think it's like 1355 or something like that. He's also on Life Below Zero. Go look at what he does. Go look at him. He's like living out in a shack in the middle of nowhere, eating every part of the animal. This is what human beings were before technology. The rifle gives you an ability that our ancestors would have fucking shed so much blood for. It's not even funny. So, you know, 
it makes what he's doing as one man a lot more doable. But like you figure, you know, in the end of the world or whatever, you don't go up there as one man. You know, you go up there as like a group of four or five, and you buy some little bug out property, and you start doing that shit. That's that's kind of to where I think the world is at. I I would rather live in Alaska right now in a cabin and have fucking Starlink internet. But in some ways, like, if the world did end up there, you're going to have a rough road to hoe. But, like, that's kind of no matter what. Like, you, you're just signing up for it to be a long winter. But it's one of those things that the long winter scares off the zombies. The video that inspired this was uh, Survival Dispatch talking about how people are going to be cannibals. And, you know, there might be some people that try to do that shit, but I think they're all going to get real dead real quick. You can only, like, prey on people so long before you run into somebody that is a bigger, better <laughs> prayer of humans than you. You know? It's not a long-term survival strategy. That's why it's not around still. The few tribes in South America and shit that were still into that, you know, look at what happened to them. That's what happens when you have a fucking tribe of cannibals. Someone comes in and wipes you the fuck out. And, you know, I guess I would be amongst the people wiping them the fuck out. There's always a solution for food. We live in a land of plenty, really. It's ridiculous that we have a society that is to the point that it's about to end. In a way, I think that a lot of America would be better off going back to wild. It's just a shame that it's going to have to go through the purge of nuclear fire to get there. Allah Akbar. God is great. See you guys later.